how to do content marketing for online stores. Okay, so there's two parts to that, I think. So yes, they can use content marketing, and I'll get into that in a second. But more importantly, they can use content within their product pages. So content marketing is more about you know, creating the content that is useful for people, maybe sometimes peripheral to the actual products, but product pages are actually a source of gold for, for content creators. Because if you have, actually Zappos does this really well, or even Amazon, I, I like using Zappos as an example. Um, I bought my backpack through them, and why I did was because they had a great content page where they showed my backpack, and then they had multiple views of photos, so they had image content, but then they had a video content of someone, a real person, not like a model, a real person that worked at Zappos modeling the backpack, turning around and everything, so that I got an idea of what the size was for that product. And then they had user-generated content, so you could upload an Instagram with that product if you had it. They had reviews, they had product specs, and so it was a robust content kind of resource page for that product. So I think a lot of e-commerce sites, oftentimes they get a description from the manufacturer and they just put it on their pages. But that's duplicated from any other e-commerce site that has that same product. So look at your product pages as a place to create unique content and to really sell the product, not just the product itself, but the experience of owning that product. So that's the first part. And then in terms of the second part of content marketing, um, you know, for example, it comes to mind, there's some green cleaning companies, you know, kind of safe, sustainable um, sprays for your kitchen tables or whatever, and they sell these online. Well, there, you have to think about, well, who's coming there to buy? Who's that demographic? Who's that person? Oftentimes it would be me because that's I don't like the chemical cleaners. So what content would I or you or whoever it is be interested in because of you coming to that site. It might be 10 steps to creating a more clean, sustainable green home or something. So there's a lot of ways to draw people in, maybe not through your products, but through a topic that they might find interesting in the periphery.